In a previous video, I just touched on the idea of copyright and how that might relate to you as an educator who's creating educational materials for your students, but may be posting some of that information back on the internet. And just some considerations about um, how you acquire that content and a good way to model fair practice for your student. Now I've come to a website called Pixabay where I can get royalty-free images for use um, on various projects. I've done a little search for graphs and I've located this image that I would like to use. So I simply click on the image. If I look over here on the right, it's going to tell me that this is free for commercial use. So some images might be posted that are free for non-commercial use, which would apply to you as an educator, but this is even a step above that. So you can feel free to take this image to modify it, edit it, add it to it, you know, use it in a collage or some other way and repost that to the internet. Um, it listed as no attrib attribution required. So you don't even have to credit the image. However, in this program, I would like to see people crediting the images regardless of whether they are absolutely required to do so or not. And I think this is important because it's a good model for students. Students are very used to um, going out on the internet and being able to grab whatever they want and use it in any way they want. This doesn't make it ethical or legal. And you taking the extra step to simply say thank you to someone who has provided something to you is, is a great model for students to see. Okay, so first, on this particular site, and if you go to, go to other sites, it, it may work slightly differently. You, where you find the information may be just slightly different. You're gonna have to poke around a little bit and figure it out, um, but make an effort because it should be there. Anything that's being um, posted under a creative, uh, you know, specifically under a Creative Commons type license. Okay, so I'm going to click free download. Um, I can take any size here. It doesn't really matter. It would depend on my purpose, you know, whether I needed a very high quality image. I'm going to say that this image is for my channel art. So yes, I want a large image. And I'm going to download it. And here, it's going to allow me to save it to my computer. But in the process, it's also going to um, pop up this information right here. And it's saying that I can donate if I choose to. I could send a couple of dollars to the creator of this content. That would be my choice. But at a minimum, what I really should do is I should credit them. And I can do that by hitting copy and copying this information. I am also going to right click on the first link and open it in a new tab and right click on the second link and open it in a new tab. And that's simply because of the environment that I am going to be crediting this in. I don't have a lot of latitude to put links. So I'm going to have to have the actual web addresses here. In another environment, this copying this would just be fine. But on, on a YouTube channel, I'm a little more limited in where I want to put this information. OK, so now I've got these three things open. I'm going to come over here. I'm in YouTube. Remember, you always want to verify that you're in the channel you think you're in. I'm going to go to this one. And now, although I've gone to my channel, I'm not actually looking at it. Kind of a little oddity with YouTube. I have to take this second step of coming to my channel. And now I'm in my channel and I, I have access to work on it. You can see that I actually did use that image. It's here. I modified it. I added some text to it, etc. And what we want to do is we want to credit this in at least one, but I'm going to, I'm going to say two places. In YouTube channel art, you can add links and you can see that I have two links up here in my channel right now. Um, one is to the college in general. The second one is to my portfolio. If I mouse over, you can see that. Um, so I'm going to use this to credit it, but somehow I have to get the information somewhere that I can link to. So I am going to use the About tab on my channel. And you can see that I've already done that for you, so you don't have to watch me type it. But I've put a big thank you here, and I've said channel art and profile picture graphics created with images by a particular person at Pixabay. And then I took these links 
Now, this, this image seems to actually have been posted twice under two people. The first time I did this, it was not listed under LTD at EHU. So either something has changed, uh, or more than one person has, has posted this image, which is a little suspect to start with. Um, but I'm going to do my due diligence and, and, and make sure that I do you know the right thing here. Okay, um, so what I did is out of this initial, out of this, this is what I would have copied right here from Pixabay. You know, I extracted the name of the creator and I took the link to them here. And then the Pixabay website itself, and I took the link that that was linked to and I posted here. So now on this about page, if someone wants to um, visit, you know, and look at this person's work or investigate a little bit or see the image, they have um, the access to do that. And the creator, you know, as a courtesy, we've created a way for our viewers to get back to the creator of that image. Okay, now how do I do this? Well, I would go to customize channel. Under basic info, this is where I can simply type or copy and paste the information that I want to provide. Um, let me just make a change here. And you can see that as soon as you make a change, you're going to have to remember to publish it. There's no save button here, but you're going to have to publish it. Now, the second thing I have to do is you can see that I have um, two custom links a little further down the page. I have that link to Ramapo College. There it is. I have that link to my portfolio. Um, but I also want to pr um, provide a link to this about page, my own about page, okay, because otherwise it's, it's kind of obscure. You know, people can very well come to my site and never even think about going to the about page. And while there's no guarantee that they're going to do that because I provide a link, I'm making a good faith effort to make this as available as possible. So what I would do is I would come to my um, YouTube channel. I would click the about page, and there's the link to my page right there. So I'm going to say copy. And now under links, I'm going to add an additional link. Credits. And I'm going to paste that link into there. You can see it ends with about. Um, one thing you want to check is there's this kind of setting you could overlook right beneath that. And this setting is, is saying how many links should be displayed on my channel art. So if I were to publish it now, and I were to refresh my channel, nothing has changed. I don't see my link, even though I posted it there. So what I do have to remember to do is to make sure that this setting supports my links up here. And I can't do an unlimited amount. I can do up to five. Um, so, you know, a lot of people would use this if this was a YouTube channel, but they they had um, an associated Instagram account and a Facebook account, etc. They would use it for that. But we're going to make sure that at least three. Now, if I put five up here and I only have three, that's not going to hurt anything. So you can always come into your sites and, and just set this all the way up to the limit to start with and not worry about it. That would be up to you. I'm going to publish it. Um, I can flip back where I can use this, you know, View channel link it's just going to open up another one and you can see that all three links are there now and if I click on this one it's going to bring me to that credit page so that's one way that I can credit we're going to go a step past that in in this particular project I had asked you to let me come to um, customize channel again there's a couple of ways to get to this page um, but I had asked you to play with these video spotlight features. Now, as a review, what this does is it, it allows you to post one featured video for anyone who has not yet subscribed to your channel and a different video for anyone who has subscribed. This might not be as relevant to you as an educator, and so it would be perfectly fine to post the same video in, in both places. It just in terms of this particular project, I'd ask you to play with the features so you knew it was there and you knew how to use it. Okay, we're going to use this now as an additional way to credit the creator 
of our art. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a video. And I'm not going to ask you to create another one. I'm not going to ask you to create like an introduction to your site or something. So just find one of the videos that you'd like to spotlight. I am going to actually add the same video in, whether that be for subscribers or not subscribers, because that kind of makes sense. And by the way, it's perfectly okay that this is used, same video is used in another playlist. If this was not an exercise, I would probably create something custom. Um, but for our purposes, it's perfectly okay if it, if it appears another time. And I'm going to say publish. And if I come back to my channel, you can see now it's, uh, it's a little different. Instead of starting with my playlist sections that I had previously posted, it now has this nice um, video up here. And you'll notice that in this case, it has the credit to the um, to the site creator now so this is a little awkward in in this case because um, it's referring to channel art which really refers to the entire site whereas this video is is not oriented towards the it's not an introduction to the site let's say okay if you want to take uh, two minutes or 60 seconds and create an introduction to your site that would be great and then this would be really appropriate to have there but for now, again, we're just looking at the mechanics of how to put something like this together. So this would be fine. So you can see that I've credited it here, but how did I do that? Well, in this case, you want to go, you can go to Customize Channel if you want, or you could come here and you could go to YouTube Studio. Okay, so this is the back end where you do all, all the work that the uh, viewer eventually sees. Okay, so let me go to custom customize channel. And you can see that that link has really just brought us to studio. It's brought us to this customization option within studio. Whereas if I had just clicked studio, I, I wouldn't have come to this option, but I would have come to studio. So once you're in studio, this link up here is your content. This is just going to show you the totality of your videos. So when I click here, you can say, ah, oh, there they are. Okay, this is how I get back into work on my videos. It was this video that I edited, and all I really did was I came in here and I hit the pencil, and I added the information that I wanted for my um, to be displayed concerning the crediting of the of the images. I just added it down here underneath. So a little awkward in the sense that. The top part is describing what the video actually does, which is video centric. And the bottom part is is kind of giving a global reference to the site graphics. But as I said, for now, just the mechanics of how to get this in here will be fine. Um, if you're planning on using this site regularly, I would, I would recommend making one little video for your students that can be 30 seconds long or 20 seconds. Just says, hey, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Um, this is what you're going to find on the site. And then put your credit information there. 